Well, Pastor John Hagee is a New York Times best-selling author, and uh, he's the founder and chairman of Christians United for Israel. He's also the senior pastor of Cornerstone Church in San Antonio. And he's joining us live from Texas for more. Thanks for joining us, Pastor Hagee. Really appreciate you being with us here on Faith Nation. We're delighted to be with you today. Pastor Hagee, what is the significance of what President Trump is doing as it relates to Jerusalem? What President Trump is doing is one of the most courageous political things that's been done in Washington in a long time. Many presidents have promised to move the embassy and declare Jerusalem as the eternal capital, but they have promised without performing. President Trump, when I spoke to him in the White House about this several weeks ago, he said this very emphatically. He said, other presidents have failed you, but I will not disappoint the Christian community in this issue. I will stand with Israel, and we will, at some point in time, move the embassy. Well, you just led me into my next question. I, I was curious about some of your interactions with the president on this. C can you tell us a little bit? I know you've, you've visited him at times at the White House. What, what has that been like? And, and it seems like he, for sure, is committed to Israel. Uh, when you meet Mr. Uh, the pre when you meet the president, he's very cordial. He's very warm. Uh, he's very engaging. Uh, we were there for about two hours uh, in an evening meal together, and uh, we spoke about the geopolitical crisis of the Middle East. We spoke about uh, what his thoughts were about moving the embassy, and I talked to him about the significance of moving uh, the embassy in the Jubilee year because I told him that God measures everything in modules of 50 years. And uh, I said, this is a principle that's carried out in Leviticus, the 25th chapter. I said, if you look at 1917, it was a jubilee year, and the Balfour Amendment came, and then in 50 years it was 1967, and Jerusalem was reconnected to Israel and you add 50 to 1967, and you're in 2017, I said, this is the year to move the embassy and make that declaration because it is a biblical timing of absolute precision. Thank God he's going to do exactly that. Uh, Pastor Hagee, I want to follow up with you on that real quick. Do you get a sense that he understands the biblical significance of this? or You know, this is not necessarily in the world he's traveled in for, for decades. I think there's a biblical significance to everything that happens to Israel. David writes in the book of Psalms, God has a set time to show grace and mercy to the Jewish people. And that set time is always calibrated by whether the Jewish people are in the land or out of the land. In other words, God's prophetic clock is not ticking until the Jewish people are in the land of Israel. That clock started ticking again when the Balfour Amendment became reality and the Jewish people came back to the state. So I believe at this point in time, Israel is God's stopwatch for everything that happens to every nation, including America, from now until the rapture of the church and beyond. And Pastor, finally, for Christians who don't know a lot about Israel, why should they care? Christians should care about Israel because the entirety of the Bible, beginning at Genesis all the way to the end, is God's position paper on the Jewish people. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That means that God owned the earth. As the owner of the earth, after Adam and Eve failed in the garden and Noah's generation failed, God found a man by the name of Abraham, and he made a covenant with him, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, recorded in the book of Genesis, that he was going to give them a strip of real estate in the Middle East, and that piece of real estate would be theirs forever. Forever means 
today, tomorrow, and forever. It has nothing to do with what the Palestinians think, what the Russians think, what the UK has the opinion of. It is, it belongs to the Jewish people. And Israel is the gateway to God's blessing uh, in the Bible. Genesis 12, I will bless those who bless you. World history can be summed up in one sentence. The nations that blessed Israel were blessed of God, and the nations that cursed Israel were cursed of God. The Egyptians cursed the Jewish people, and God wiped them out. He drowned their army in the Reed Sea. He sent plagues to destroy their wealth. Where are the Babylonians? They're gone. Where are the Persians? They're gone. Where is the Roman Empire? It's gone. Where is the former Great, uh, Great Britain? It's now reduced to one island. Where are the lunatic Nazis who followed Adolf Hitler? They have been wiped off the face of the earth. Where is Israel? It is alive. It's prospering. It's growing. It is still the apple of God's eye. The Bible says that God's eyes are on the city of Jerusalem every day and constantly. So God's timepiece Israel is clicking right on schedule. Well, Pastor John Hagee, I hope you can hear this because that's a drop the mic moment. Uh, <laughs> we do appreciate that. Thank you so much for being I can't tell you how much of a pleasure it is to talk to you today. Thank you. Thank you. Well, God bless you. It's been a pleasure to be with you. All right. Thanks. Pastor John Hagee taking us to church. Wow. Preach. And he literally dropped yeah, the mic. He did. All right. Well, for more of uh, Pastor Hagee's work in Israel, uh, make sure you can uh, check it out on, uh, on his ministry's website. You can go to jmh.org slash Israel. And Pastor Hagee, again, once again, with joining us. Yeah, that was fantastic.